Shut up and sit down. Hello, my name is Justin Adams, and welcome to Jay's Days. Brad Pitt uh, usually doesn't really do it for me, especially lately. He hasn't, he hasn't really done anything that has blown my mind since ever. I don't know, like, I guess The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, that movie was boring, though. I don't... He was good in The Big Short, that's, like, the only thing I can really think of. And the Ocean's Eleven movies, like, he was fun in those. But other than that, I mean, like, is Brad Pitt even good? <laughs> and then I saw the trailer for this new Netflix comedy that just came out yesterday about this real man Brad Pitt is playing and this real war that happened in Afghanistan. Now, yes, you did hear me correctly. This is a comedy, and it is about the war that happened in Afghanistan. Um... So, it's, it's, it's a tricky subject, and it's risky, and now at this point, it just depends on the humor and how they are going to handle this extremely risky material. The character Brad Pitt plays is General Stanley A. McChrystal, and the movie is basically centered around him and the impossible mission, the near impossible mission he sets on for himself and his troops to protect Afghanistan and not destroy it, basically. But it's hard to protect him when all these obstacles keep getting in his way, like Obama sending all the troops back home or attempting to try to send the troops all, all back home, but, the, but Stanley tries to get every single troop that he can get to help him on this mission to protect Afghanistan. Little does Stanley know that this assignment isn't just impossible, it's something that no one wants to do. No one wants anything to do with it, so it's literally him and his troops against the entire world, or the world against them, more likely. We are here to build, to protect, to support the civilian population. To that end, we must avoid killing it at all costs. We can't help them and kill them at the same time. It just ain't humanly possible. This war's been running eight years now. Given your reputation and your formidable drive, our hope is that you're the man who will get the job done. Most of us here will know General McMars, the man who kicked out Qaeda in the sack. You're welcome. Get your troops in order. Move the needle a little bit. Show everyone a nice looking set of graphs. Just finish this thing. It's a lost cause. We can stay in Afghanistan forever. That's why I'm gonna win it. My team and I are about to embark on a new direction. What is this new direction? We build Afghanistan into a free and prosperous nation. All right, smile for the cameras, Glenn. Sounds a lot like the old direction. The movie stars, I have my list here, uh, Topher Grace, Emma Ray Cohen, R.J. Seiler, John Magaro, Will Poulter, Alan Ruck, Tilda Swinton, Ben Kingsley, and Anthony Michael Hall. The thing about these political satires is that they're only entertaining for like the first hour. Then the second hour or so is just kind of depressing. It's, it, it's, it's effective in most ways, like when, when it's done right, it, it, it's done right. But when it's not really done well, and it's just really falling under the like the the truth and and trying to make fun of the truth or trying to uh, the over satirize the truth um it, it it just becomes tiresome after a while while i can appreciate what this movie was trying to tell us and trying to show i do not think that they succeeded all the way around there's this part with a rolling stones reporter and he's the narrator of the entire movie and when he's introduced in the actual movie like at like not just as the narrator as a character it's, it's distracting because then we never get to know him. We never get a backstory on this guy. So once we finally see a face, we're expecting maybe a little bit of an interaction with all these guys. But literally, he's just there and then he leaves. And then it becomes a thing toward, more towards the end. And it, it just, it, stuff like that just didn't really make sense to me. Like Tilda Swinton's character. I don't understand why Tilda Swinton played the character. She just got up as a reporter and she just threw a bunch of shit and, and onto Brad uh, Pitt's face and then that was it. Uh, Alan Ruck I, I thought was, was appropriately casted, you know, I, I like him a lot. I liked how the, this movie was kind of like a, 
uh, a Hughes, an uh, old man Hughes movie uh, with Anthony Michael Hall and Alan Ruck. But, um, yeah, it, it was stuff like that which I found a little just distracting and and just that the movie didn't really feel like they needed to flush out. But, I mean, like, to me, I just feel like they should have at least a little bit either flushed it out or cut it all together. Well, I think the whole cast did a really great job, Brad Pitt including. Like, I thought that he did a good job playing his character. The standout role from this entire movie is Anthony Michael Hall. This dude went a long way from being in 16 Candles, the Weird Science, all those John Hughes movies, because in this, he, A, he doesn't even look like himself anymore, but that's not even, a, he doesn't even act like himself. He's this dude who has this hardcore temper tantrum. He freaks out, his face gets red, he twitches, he's like, Argh! and Anthony Michael Hall plays it very well. He plays his character as a character. His character is fully fleshed out. He is someone who really, really appreciates Stanley and, 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 and loves the man. Like, he, 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 he really, really uh, looks up to his general. And you can see that. You can Anthony Michael Hall plays the character off so well. Overall, I say check it out if you are interested in the material. But on an entertainment value level, uh, this movie does lack a few. So, I mean, like, if, if you're interested in the material, I do say check it out because then there are going to be some things that you are going to find entertaining. But then again, there are going to be other things that do kind of drag and, and feel like they maybe shouldn't have been in there or been fleshed out a little bit more. While this movie is way better and, and, and more well made than most of the movies that Netflix releases, I feel like this one is like under the same, is like on the same boat of uh, the discoveries on the movie with Jason Segel and Rooney Mara. It's like, it's, it's a good movie, but then again, it could have been amazing. It could have been really, really, really good. But you can tell, like, they just decided to to go, like, a full 80 instead of going the full 100. So, yeah, guys, that's what I think about War Machine. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section. It is now available on Netflix, so you can check it out. It does star Brad Pitt, so I'm going to assume that it's going to get a lot of a lot of clicks and a lot of views. Um, I, he is good in it and everything, but, I again, I say if you're going to go watch it on an entertainment value level and not just as a you're interested in the material and you want to see what they have to say, then see it for Anthony Michael Hall, man, because he is great and he's fantastic. Always remember to like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Yes. I didn't come here to manage this war and I sure as shit didn't come here to close it out. It's my job to ensure that your personal ambitions are kept in check. Seems to me that we all here with our guns trying to convince these people we're really nice guys. I need to see a weapon! No one's gonna crack this, it's gonna be you. You're not here to win. You're here to clean up the mess. For the times they are a-changing.